Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing my third instalment of the White Christmas Series 4. I'm doing a Christmas shopping makeup look and it's very glamorous and also very different to what I usually do. I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids using the Maybelline Colour Tattoo in um, pink gold and I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelids. This is actually one of my absolute favourite eyeshadow primers. I have used the Urban Decay one which is the ultimate one like if you buy me that I will love you forever because that primer just works amazingly on me like I used to find it really um I used to find it really hard to keep my eyeshadows on when I was doing this look and uh, for when I was doing makeup looks back in the day of 2012 so then I found this look and I was just like yay so the look I'm doing is a green, gold and kind of um, a, a kind of a green, gold, warm toned eyeshadow look. So I'm going to start off by using a transition um, colour which is a very light orangey brown. It's really pale and I'm going to use this in the crease on a blending brush and just blend it into my crease. And then I'm going to go in with a warmer brown. I'm going to... Um, just kind of blend it again and I'm just going to blend it in a window wiper motion and I'm going to blend that into my the other colour and I'm just going to carry on doing that until it's fully blended out. This look was probably the hardest look I've done. This was an hour's footage. I have cut it down to 20 minutes but it was about an hour's footage because this look is really time consuming and very different. So. I just had to keep on um, working for it and so I did a lot of time lapses throughout this look as well however it didn't really help with this look so I'm going to cut the crease I'm going to use some foundation and I'm going to use a flat shader brush and I'm just going to put this on my eyelid and then blink and while it prints I am going to cut it there um, so I'm just going to kind of apply this I love doing the, the cut creases because they're like really easy to do so I'm just going to blend this um, on my eyes like so and then just kind of gently drag it along and neaten it up. This I prefer to do this look with um, a different type of brush. I forgot what brushes I was using to do this but I definitely prefer to do it with a different type of brush. Um, I forgot what I was using at the time. Oh yes it was a, um, a concealer applicator that I found much easier so I'm just but I only have that now I don't have the concealer anymore so next I am going to pick out the green it's a Kiko color I haven't used that in ages I got it back in 2012 and I didn't really like it I remember I mean I loved it and I was like oh my god green because I was really back into green because I loved Ireland and st I still love like Ireland of course but I was big into green because of Ireland and stuff like that I just loved green and I thought that suited me at the time so I decided to use it a lot then using a lip a brush I am going to kind of draw the first part and this is on the actual eyelid rather than the crease and I'm going to draw it on and it kind of goes a little bit of a paler colour like a mint green because of the concealer but it is like a more of a glitter so I'm just going to apply this on the eyelid and slowly build up the eyeshadow the green does go pretty much everywhere so I'm just going to warn you on that one so I'm just going to do that this lip brush is amazing I think it's a lip brush at least but it is absolutely amazing and as you can see this look is basic it's just boring but then I'm going to add in the gold and it's going to kind of help the green stand out a little bit more got glitter gold Christmas colors everything and um so um above that I think I'm doing that now I have the problem of that I can't actually see um yeah so I'm going to add in the gold so on top of the green where I've left a bit of the concealer space I am going to um, start drawing in the gold um, I would recommend wetting the brush beforehand because it picks up the gold eyeshadow a little bit more and makes it come on cleaner um, put on the cleaner and also stops it from um, any fallout so it doesn't kind of mix with the green it's really easy to do 
and yes that also will mix with the concealer because the, the concealer i recommend setting the pat and um, the concealer before you apply the eyeshadows um but i didn't because i was tired when i filmed this video and it took me over an hour to film it so i was just like i did do like this previous video and i was like mm, this is not going i did intros did two intros and just found it wasn't working out well so yeah once i have built up the color i'm gonna add in some purple i'm gonna use a small blending brush from morph and i'm just gonna i did a review on these back in the day i think it was a everyday thing um i'm not sure back in the day i mean like back a few months well back in the day of 2012 kira um no um i'm using a this more uh, morph blending brush again which i am in love with because i love the bristles it's very kind of firm i didn't like the other one i had which was a black blending brush and it's got long bristles and it wasn't firm and it was just really flimsy and i didn't i found it very hard to blend out still learning how to do that because until 2016 i did not do that so I did not blend my eyeshadows, I didn't want to blend my eyeshadows, I didn't even want to have a crease colour, let alone ha blend it out. So till the, till this, till 2016 I wasn't doing that and I've only been blending my eyeshadows and applying crease colour since 2016 and it's now the end of 2017 and it's been taking me a while to do but I'm getting there I think. So I'm adding some purple into the outer half of my eyelid, this is a kind of plum purple colour. And I'm blending it into a crease. Um, I absolutely love this look, and I love that I, the purple actually just goes with the green. It's very hard to do, and again, I have to keep building up the eyeshadows that I'm doing, as you can see from this. I'm just blending it up and adding more green, more gold, more purple as I go. Um, it's kind of a very buildable look. You have to keep building it, otherwise, it just doesn't look good. One, I'm going to start off by lining my low lash line. At first, I started doing gold eyeshadow to line my low lash line, but I wasn't very sure whether I wanted that. And also, I added the purple onto my low lash line as well. However, I just didn't realise whether it was a good eyeshadow colour to put on my low lash line, whether the green or the purple suited. But then, I decided to do the green, and it looked amazing. So then I'm lining my top lash line using a Revlon eyeliner since I found all three of my lost eyeliners. Which is pretty clever because now I have three eyeliners that I need to use up. So I'm drawing a thin line on my top lash line. I'm not doing any winged eyeliner this time around. So I'm just going to top, um, apply the eyeliner to my top lash line. This was very hard to carry to do a neat look because I didn't want the eyeliner to be very thick. So I had to try and not do that. Um, it was very hard to do, so I kept trying and trying, and it just didn't work out, basically. So I just had to, it just ended up being thick. And then I had to apply more um, green eyeshadow and more gold eyeshadow, just to kind of level it out. Um, yes, yeah, so that's basically what happened there. and. I pretty much struggled with this look, as you can tell. Um, it pretty much was a very difficult, time-consuming look, but it was a new, different type of look that I haven't done before, so I quite enjoyed it, um, trying something new. Then I applied my two favourite mascaras at the moment. Uh, one is a 17 mascara and the other one is a Maybelline one. Don't know their names because I haven't got them on me. I think one's called Voom Voom or Boom Boom or something and then the other one is the Maybelline Big Mascara I think that's what it's called I'm not sure but they're pretty much um, one's a graphic looking a graphic looking one and the other one is um, a kind of is kind of more of a pop art one so yeah that's the look I kept coming close just to show you guys because sometimes on the iPod and yes guys I am trying to update that look that good old uh, iPod so yeah, I may be getting a new tech for the video. Um, I'm going to get a new kind of thing to film on for Christmas, hopefully. So hopefully this will start to look better. So I'm just going to blend in some more purple to the outer half of my eye. Um, yeah. 
and then I'm just going to kind of neaten up the inner corner. I always do this, I like more of a kind of graphic look, so I just kind of neaten that, and then I'm going to go in and use a pale gold eyeshadow. And excuse the mat, it's back there again, everyone. Um, so yeah, I'm highlighting my inner corner, and moving on, I'm doing a little bit of a time lapse. I thought I'd do a time lapse for this bit because it would have been a really long video if I had done the other eye as well. So then I'm filling in my eyebrows and applying my favourite foundation. I decided to do another time lapse as well. Then I move on to just kind of um, applying it underneath my eyes and doing my blush and also contouring my face and my nose. Then I am going to highlight. I'm using this MAC highlighter which is actually one of my favourites and I'm using this on a, I'm highlighting it using this brush which is a small kind of brush. It looks a bit like a blending brush. I can't remember what the name of it is. But it's like a contour concealer highlighter blush. Uh, brush. So I'm highlighting my nose, my cheeks and I've been trying to get my highlighter a bit better. Um, I do struggle with this just because of my face shape. I don't have any obvious cheekbones. And also, yeah, that's literally the top of my cheekbones. And to come in belief, I think I'm doing it right. But because I don't have that type of face shape where it's easy to just tell where your cheekbones are and the apples of the cheek, um, it's just a bit hard to highlight. Although I find blusher quite easy to do. Um, but I'm trying my best to get that look right with the highlighter. And then I'm moving on to um, applying lipstick. I am using the lipstick Diva Danger. That's one of my favourites. And I'm just applying... The, it's actually not one of my favourites. I just wanted a deep berry colour. Because I don't have many lipsticks. Because fun fact about me is I don't actually like lipstick. Um, so I like to my natural lip colour more than natural lipstick. So I only have a few lipsticks. So the, those few lipsticks are only used for when I'm doing makeup looks. So I try to have a um, kind of yeah. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna start doing like a kind of lip look. Where so my I just kind of trailed off there. Where I just because I just suddenly saw a horse. I um, know I'm not outside. I meant on Facebook. So yeah um i don't really i just don't like lipstick because sometimes i can never apply it right so um yeah so i like to just but sometimes i can which i call my lipstick days so those are the days where i suddenly be i'm suddenly able to use lipstick and it looks good but then those are the days where i'm just like why am i wearing lipstick and why does this look so bad why is it so hard to apply lipstick days that's basically what it is so yeah i'm just applying it to my lips and yes i pretty much love this look i was trying to go for a very classic look and uh, my phone just died on 20 percent oh no it didn't it decided to just go to sleep i don't know why i'm telling you this but i am on my ipod and on my phone at the same time which is what i'm yeah a bit weird so um you notice the mat in the back of my hair that famous mat yeah it pretty much happens when i need a new haircut and it's a bit of an annoying thing to do. Um, yeah, so I am just going to highlight just the middle of my lip. Now, moving on. Yes, there's paint on my the back of my hoodie. That's because I'm wearing my art, um, my painting hoodie. Basically, it's when I paint and I don't want to get my nice clothes um dirty so I put on my painter hoodie and I forgot that I was filming a video and I'm still wearing it so painter hoodie I'm wearing it so what I'm doing here is I'm dividing my hair up so that's going to be where the thinner pieces of hair are going to be curled and I'm going to apply so basically I put the bun on top of my head so I look like a poop emoji and yes you can tell I've got purple roots more into this video um, I will be re my hair and I will either be going blonde or I may be going purple again just until about the summer. So the summertime I will probably be blonde again. Back into 2013-2014 Kira. Um, 
2013-2015 Kira. I think. No, 2014-2015 Kira. That makes more sense. I'm just curling my hair. I do find curling my hair really hard for some reason. Like... But I do like to do it because I like the hair colour. So what I'm doing, let's say, the hairstyle. So what I'm doing is just wrapping the hair around my head, so around the barrel, and then I'm holding it there for 10, 10 seconds. And then I'm just going to release the hair, and I'm just going to repeat that um, on my every side. So every hair strand, I'm going to repeat that, and then I'm going to take the bun down and then do the same. So once I have done that, I'm just going to take out the bun and then I'm going to curl the rest of my hair. For the fringe, I usually do a larger curl, so I take larger sections of my fringe that I have, or the shorter bits of my hair. And then for the rest of it, I am just curling it loosely and then building up um, the volume as I go on both sides. my finished makeup look so I'm just going to kind of make sure my hair looks amazing and then I'm going to pose for a bit so this is my final makeup look I have two more videos before 
what I got for Christmas, everyone. I'm so excited. Yes, guys. And also, I'm doing a little bit of something different this Christmas as well for my Christmas um, series, I think. So, just watch out for that. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.